Okay, so, so far in this section, we've seen um, an introduction to the P5.js editor, how to print um, text to the console, some of the basic drawing commands, actually a whole bunch of them, um, using the width and height variables to resize your drawing based on the window that it's in, um, and how to save images. And really, in a way, this forms the foundation of about 90% of what we're going to do during this class. It's about then applying those in interesting ways to do all kinds of really cool stuff. Um, but as a kickoff, before we jump into your homework um, for the section, um, we're gonna do a little exercise together. And I'd like you to try drawing table and chairs using only code. So let's look at an example. You can find this um, in the collection for this week. Um, and I'm not gonna go through all this code for you because it's, you know, there's a lot here. It's not that interesting. Um, but I think there's a couple of things to highlight. The first is you'll see that I very carefully annotated everything. Um, this is a really important good habit to get into. Um, and in part, it's for you so that when you're reading this, you can tell what you're looking at. Uh, but it's also just as much for me because, um, you know, even a few hours later, and uh, I, I'm going to have no idea what's going on here. You know, this command, this rectangle command isn't going to make any sense to me just sort of looking at it. Um, so by labeling it that this is the tabletop, this really helps me be able to quickly make changes, modify it, or just kind of understand it. Um, you'll see lots of commands here or lots of sections here. You can obviously go totally bananas on this and you know make all kinds of super complicated things. Um, let me show you what it looks like. I'm not going to run it here in the editor because it's... Um, it's gonna be kind of hard to see, but if um, I have it open in a new tab. So this drawing is done entirely using the drawing commands that we've talked about. So it's basic shapes, mostly rectangles, some circles and ellipses, um, a couple I think of begin shape, end shape, more complicated shapes. Um, fill, there's no stroke here. I'm just using um, shapes without a fill or with fill, but you could certainly experiment with how the style changes if you have a stroke applied. Um, I'm using transparency also to make these curtains and to make this light here. Um, and then there's a few other things like this mouse hole over in the corner. That's actually two shapes um, on top of each other. So there's a circle that defines the top and then a kind of a square on the bottom of the same color. So you don't have to make complex shapes all at once. You can kind of like overlay them or merge them together um, to do stuff like that. So um, obviously I could keep working on this for a long time. I'm already thinking of all these other things I would love to add, um, but I think this is a really good thing to try out before you jump into the homework, um, just to experiment. And if you're looking for a challenge, I would recommend thinking, um, and remember in all of these examples, there's some challenges. So if you are like, cool, I feel really great about all this and you want to try something you know, step up. Um, these are here, I would highly recommend doing that. So one good example would be try to do everything with height and width variables. And I believe for the most part, I've got that here, at least relative positions. Um, the size is not so much, um, but you could either do positions or all, all your drawing commands. Um, like my example here, could you put them in a room? So it's not just a table and chairs, but it's in a context. I think that would be cool. And then really fun that I've had students do in the past is try to do pseudo 3D. So to actually make it look like a three-dimensional drawing, um, it's not easy. <laughs> I would recommend having a sheet of paper so that you can map stuff out, um, but it works really great. I think you're gonna be doing a lot of ellipses and a lot of begin shape, end shape um, to make kind of complex sorts of shapes. But um, take some time before you dive into the homework. Um, you can look at this as an example, but I'd like you to try practicing using these drawing commands to make a table and chairs as complicated as you, you can kind of manage. Um, but I think this is a really good kickoff. And then um, once you kind of feel like you've got some comfort zone, um, you can jump onto the last video here where we'll talk about your homework project. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to send me an email or to um, post an issue in GitHub or whatever. I'm happy to kind of help out with that stuff. So let me know. Um, also, of course, the reference is going to be very helpful within the editor um, and the forum. If you want to post to the processing forum can also be a really great resource. So um, we'll see you in the next video to talk about what your homework is going to be.